Hey you guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that I've talked a little bit about over the years here on YouTube. Um, addiction. As many of you know, addiction hits very close to home for me. And yesterday, from when I'm taping this video, I watched a Facebook Live of one of the Facebook friends that I have. And she said something pretty interesting. And it's a topic that's kind of controversial. It's been talked about off and on, you know, for many, many years. And that's whether or not addiction is a disease. And I've fluctuated over the years based on my experience with loved ones suffering from addiction about whether or not it is or not. I think it's both a disease and a choice because you can have the gene but you still have to first pick it up and then get addicted to it. So there's the gene where somebody can have a glass of wine and not become addicted. But they have to consciously, physically pick up that drink or go to that bar or go to that liquor store. And yet, when they're in their addiction, it becomes more autopilot, where the addict brain is what tells you to go pick it up. But because not everybody is an addict, there has to be some level of choice there. Now, when you're in your addiction, I don't believe it's as easy as choosing to stop. Because the addiction is already there. It's the same thing as somebody who has cancer. And this is where I really like the talk of treating it as if it is a real disease where you don't choose to have it and you physically cannot stop it you have to go get treatment now with addiction it's a little bit different after the fact because you have to actually work the treatment it's not as simple as just going for ongoing chemo, which, I mean, I guess you could opt out of that and choose not to show up, but you actually have to make the choice every single day, sometimes every single hour, to not use. So I don't think it, that there should be an argument about it. I think it very well could be both, a disease and a choice. Now, mind you, I'm not an expert. I've had my experiences, you know, with loved ones who are addicts, my brother who passed away. I know people who have gotten sober. I have not physically had an addiction myself. So I can't say any of this definitively. And I do think Everything is subjective to everybody else's life, you know, to your own life. But as a whole, I don't think it's either or. I think it is a choice and a disease. Because if you're going to tell me that it's not a disease, then why treat it? And then how many people would have been robbed of being sober today? you know, one day at a time, for everybody that we lose, and, you know, it's sometimes hard for people who have lost loved ones to addiction to be proud of and happy for the people who do succeed, but not for me. I like to see that, because I'm one that loves life, and I feel like everybody deserves that chance. So I feel... 
that is false. And I feel like declassifying it as either puts too much responsibility on the addict who is not thinking in their right mind. It is a lot like, you know, I, I know it's kind of touchy to compare it to this because it's, it's often on set because of a mental disorder, but I do think it is one. I, I think it's, you know, a lot of bipolar people will use a vice, whether it's drinking, drugs, gambling, shopping, whatever, in their mania. But I think, as it stands alone, addiction is a disorder. You know, maybe it's the terminology that people are uncomfortable with, comparing it to somebody who has cancer and saying it's a disease. So, you know, whatever you classify it is, I think it's both. And I think people spend too much time trying to classify it as something and not enough time trying to save lives. Like, why waste your time arguing that it is or it isn't? Why don't you say it's both and then figure out what the hell you're going to do about it to help people? Hundreds, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I know it's over 100 people die from addiction every single day. So why not just fix that? Or at least contribute to fixing that instead of arguing about it. That's just my take. And I just felt compelled to talk about it tonight. I don't know why. I guess because of the Facebook Live video that I saw. And I'm not discounting my friend's opinion. You know, everybody has a right. And I, like I said, I, I think it's both. So I do see her side. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Also, just as a side note, I got a message telling me that unless I get at least a thousand subscribers and 10,000 views for the year, they're demonetizing me because of that kid who was irresponsible and taped something that he shouldn't have and that is as far as I'm going to go into detail. I'm sure many of you know what it is, but I don't think that all of us who are monetized on here should be punished for what one person did. I don't subscribe to that group thing. But yeah, if you're new to me, subscribe if you haven't already and share this video so that it gets views and more importantly maybe help somebody who's on the fence clarifying because there is when you're trying to rationalize somebody's addiction it is hard if you're in your own head so maybe this will give somebody a new perspective where they're not fighting with themselves oh is it a disease or is it a choice relax it's both just be there for your loved ones or recoveries, not enabling the addiction. Pray for the best and stop obsessing over what it's called. Okay, now I'm really done. Thank you guys for watching.